Hello Libra, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a reading all about how the person that you are thinking about or connecting with, how they are feeling or thinking about you or the connection, what are their energies at this time. And then we'll look at what their intentions or next potential actions will be in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. So let's see, let's see what messages Spirit has for you in love. Let's see, for Libra Spirit. Okay, my cards don't wanna see in my hands. For Libra Spirit, any messages regarding love? What messages do you have for Libra? Regarding love at this time? Tied up, trapped, stuck, burdened. I don't know why I keep getting these cards. <laughs> I have 40 cards in this deck and I always get those types of messages. Let's see, what else can you give me for Libra? So someone's feeling tra uh, stuck or trapped in a situation. Looking inward, introspection, isolation, thinking. You are deep in thought, looking inward and seeking answers. So someone's trapped and thinking of a way out. That's what I'm getting there. I get one more. One more. Paralyzing fear. So someone's scared. Someone's scared of going after what they want. Surprise, surprise. What else is new for my channel? <laughs> I swear, I I have no control over the messages and I some, somehow I still get the same type of messages, which, you know, maybe that's because that's exactly what people are going through and those are the people that I'm reading for. So let's see, Libra. What messages do you have for Libra spirit? In love. What message do you have for Libra spirit in love? Messages for Libra, please. What messages do you have for Libra in love? Double reverse. Someone's trying to get out of a situation, a situation that's probably become very unhealthy, toxic, maybe they made the wrong choice and the choice has kind of followed them. Death and star, wow, all major arcanas. Capricorn, Scorpio, Aquarius energy here. So, Bottom of the deck, Knight of Swords, reverse. So whoever this is that's trying to um, overcome, you know, whatever situation they find themselves in, um, they know they need a change. They know that there needs to be healing. They might have a wish here um, for what they want their future to look like. Um, with the Knight of Swords, reverse, and then we have Strength. Wow, an Ace of Wands right after that. Leo Energy with the Strength card. With Knight of Swords Reverse, I feel like someone's not really moving very quickly here. Or um, there's a message that's not coming through. So maybe this person needs to communicate with you. But for some reason, that message is blocked, delayed. Or someone's just maybe hesitating. Now... The fact that I have all major arcanas, like that tells me that there's some huge energy shifts here. So these are like major life changes, okay? So let's get into this. Help me clarify, please. Or Libra. Tell me about this devil reverse. Page of coin reverse queen of wands so it's like they don't have um interesting 
They're motivated. They know what they want with the Queen of Wands, but with the Page of Coin reverse, it's like they can't work on it. They don't have the resources or there's delays in them getting an opportunity started here. Nine of Swords or that fear. That's paralyzing fear right there. But Queen of Wands, I feel like this is someone who, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, this is someone who knows what they want and how to get it. However, they're scared to do it. They're scared, worried, having probably um, sleepless nights. Um, I feel like this is just holding them back with the page of coin reverse. They could be worried about money. They could be worried about finances as a whole. They could be worried about not having anything to give you, Libra. But I feel like, you know, the desire is there. It's just, will they make it happen? I have the eight of coin reverse at the bottom with the 10 of coins. This is money, effort. Someone's really like, it's like they can't really work on this, possibly because they don't have the financial means to do so. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Tower reverse. Tell me about death. Again, king of coin reverse. What is going on here, Libra? Knight of swords reverse again. The world, wow. So again, you know, so this is what someone wants. They want a new, a new cycle, a new beginning. They want to start over, have a fresh, clean slate, leave everything behind in the past, close the door to the past, and move forward. However, you know, it's almost like they're dragging their feet or, or they literally cannot move here. I have the king of coin reverse. Again, someone who not financially stable. Sometimes they can be a bit too concerned about money or appearances. Um, they can be a, a stubborn, excessively stubborn or selfish, greedy sometimes. Um, this is also my card for someone who is in a marriage or in a really long-term commitment that they're not doing well in, you know, or they're not the best partner in that commitment. I feel like this is already over. Whatever this person's tied up in, if it's a family situation, a job situation, another partnership, it's been over. Um, I feel like someone maybe tried to avoid a tower and failed, which is, is strange that I'm getting that energy because usually when I see this card, um, this is someone that's trying to avoid a tower from falling. But when I put this card down with the death card, like this to me already happened. The tower has been fallen, you know, it's been destroyed, it's been over. And yet someone's like not being honest about this or not speaking their truth or, you know, not moving forward. And it's weird that I'm also picking that up because the Knight of Swords reverse is typically someone who they, they, they are very hurtful with their communication. They're terrible communicators. Um, they, they are very brutally honest, very blunt, right? That's typically what the Knight of Swords Reverse is about, or it could be like a blocked message. But what I'm seeing is someone who is not speaking the truth that they need to speak, you know? And I, I have the death card here. They're, this person's wearing a mask. See? They're wearing a mask, right? And then in this Knight of Swords card, he looks like he's wearing a mask in here too. Not really, it's, it's a helmet, but you know what I mean? That's just what I'm seeing. That's what that's what my eye immediately goes to, is like someone's hiding from themselves. <laughs> that's what I'm picking up here. Like they can't admit to themselves that something's already done and over, that maybe finances is not a good enough reason to 
keep away from a new beginning. Tell me about this star. Can you tell me about this star for Libra? Why is this star here? Justice. My God, what is with the major arcanist? Libra, there you are. It's like this person, um, and I'm really, I'm sorry that I'm saying this person, this person, and I'm focusing just on your person, but that is where my, the energy is, is, is like, it's screaming at me that this is your person. This is the person that either you're dealing with, or this is you. It's not like your connections here. This is one of you, just one of you here, if that makes sense. <laughs> And for some reason, I think it's your person, but you know, flip it if it resonates more, this could be you. But anyways, so someone here, they want justice, they want a wish, they want, they want things to be made right. They could be wanting this with you, or they could just be wanting justice, like period. They could be even be wanting a divorce here with the justice card. I have death, justice, tower. So that could be someone uh, divorcing here. Tell me about this star. The wheel. Oh my God. With the chariot at the bottom. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at this energy. This is someone who wants a complete change. Want to move forward. Like, remember what I said? Close the door and not look back. <laughs> This is, this is someone that's just going to go like galloping away from wherever they're at and not look back. You know, this person's wish is for things to be completely different. Can I get one more for the star? If I get one more major arcana, I'm going to throw my deck at the wall. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, <laughs> tell me more about the star, please, spirit. Ace of Wands. Okay, so. And the Four of Wands reverse. Okay, some of you are dealing with someone who's not in a happy home or a happy family situation. This person wants something completely new. The fact that you showed up here, uh, Libra, with the Justice card, this could be very well be a new beginning with you. Um, I feel like someone wants out of their disconnected home or unhappy home yeah there's a nine of cups so this this person's wish king of wands yeah this person knows exactly what they want whether they're communicating it to you whether they're lying to themselves or whatever like deep down they know what they want they want a new beginning here tell me about this new beginning Four Wands reverse again in this deck. Tell me about this new beginning. Four Libra, please. Tell me about this new beginning. What's this Ace of Wands about? Tell me about this new beginning. Oh, the lovers reverse. Gemini energy. That could be a separation. The chariot. Yep, this is this is the same message. They could even be traveling towards you with the chariot. What's this new beginning of it? What's this new beginning about? For some reason, I don't want to pick a card yet. I don't know when I have to. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. One more, please. <laughs> I mean, I have to laugh because it's like I'm using a whole different deck that I just shuffled, right? <laughs> 
and I'm still getting the exact same cards. Your person wants to move forward, possibly towards you here. Um, and I mean possibly, and I'm saying possibly, Libra, because for some reason, I'll probably pick some secret moon cards just to double check what this person feels about you specifically. But for some reason, I'm thinking that their concern right now is just to get out of wherever they're at. And then once they're out of there, I feel like that's when they're going to allow themselves to dream. I feel like a separation has to happen here, or perhaps this has already happened between you. Um, a choice was made that someone regrets, or they're thinking about a whole different choice and partner here. And let's see what the secret moon, five of cups at the bottom reverse. So it's almost like they want to recover what was lost. No longer be feeling disappointed. Tell me about how this person feels about Libra. How do they feel about Libra? I wasn't honest with you. Tell me about how this person feels about Libra. Is it too late? Yeah. Bottom of the deck, I miss you so much. Yeah, so this is you. You are their wish here. They're coming towards you. And they're coming towards you with a goal. Like, it's it's almost like you are their... I don't know, for some reason, it's like you are the thing that will... That keeps them having faith, having hope. That keeps them... Like, hopeful that things can be better. That's just what I'm picking up here. You know, it's like th this wheel, this star, it's like you can change their life. That's what I'm picking up here. 